Acute lymphoblastic leukemia, ALL, is a cancer of the bone marrow and blood. Chimeric antigen receptor, or CAR T-cell therapy, leverages genetically modified T lymphocytes that can recognize and kill cancer cells in the management of ALL. However, some children develop treatment-resistant leukemia or post-treatment relapse. Now, a multinational team of researchers has assessed the safety and efficacy of co-administering CD19 and CD22 CAR T-cells for treating ALL. They conducted a Phase II clinical trial with 225 children with relapsed or treatment-resistant leukemia. As the first step, they conducted an interim analysis on the first 30 patients to examine safety. Co-administration of CD19 and CD22 CAR T-cells achieved complete remission in 99% of the 194 patients with refractory leukemia or hematologic relapse, with no signs of residual disease. These patients achieved a 73.5% event-free survival, EFS, by the 12-month follow-up. However, relapse did occur in 43 patients. Consolidative transplantation and B-cell aplasia emerged as favorable prognostic factors of the CAR T-cell therapy. The 12-month EFS was 85% for patients treated with transplantation versus 69.2% for the non-transplanted patients. Children with isolated testicular relapse and isolated central nervous system relapse exhibited a 12-month EFS of 95% and 68.6% respectively, without the use of local radiation. Furthermore, all patients exhibiting persistent B-cell aplasia for six months or more showed prolonged disease remission. This strategy of combined CAR T-cell therapy achieved durable remission in patients with high-risk relapse or refractory B-acute lymphoblastic leukemia and could potentially spare many patients from the long-term effects of local irradiation.